Who knew that chicken fajitas could be so quick and easy to make? Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my take on chicken fajitas. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come, even recipes. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose. Yes, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Well, today I thought I'd bring you another one of my family favorites, one of those quick and easy recipes that I like to make. I'm not somebody who likes to spend a lot of time in the kitchen because I don't have a lot of time to spend in the kitchen. I don't wanna eat out all the time, but I know that those same repetitious meals that you feel like you make week after week, they kind of get old. And I like to bring new recipes into my, I guess, menu planning. Sometimes just taking somebody's take on a simple recipe makes all the difference in the world. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a chicken fajita recipe that has three ingredients. And this recipe is so quick and easy, it's budget friendly, and the outcome is so stinking delicious, it makes my mouth water. This is one I think you're absolutely gonna love. I know I am a crafting channel, but as I have brought to you some really fun dessert dishes and some quick and easy recipes. There are so many of you that seem to really like it. For those of you who are here for crafting, I totally get it. And if you don't wanna watch this video, it's not gonna hurt my feelings. I totally get it. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it. And let me show you just how easily you too can make a quick, easy, and budget-friendly chicken fajita that your family is gonna love. Let's get to it. For today's recipe, I'm gonna only be using two chicken breasts because it's just the girls and I, Kayla, Allie, and I. So two chicken breasts is more than enough for this. Depending on the size of your family is gonna be how many you need. Yep, vegetable oil, that's what we need. Once I've cut my chicken into strips, I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some of this vegetable oil over the top. I'm also going to be adding some of Lowry's seasoning salt because it's one of my favorites. Store brand is just as good. When seasoning my meals, I season to taste. I don't measure. I'm also going to add a bit of the garlic salt. This is a coarse ground salt with parsley. It's got all that deliciousness in this bottle, so that's all we need. I'm going to let this chicken cook for about 10 or 15 minutes on medium heat. You're going to need a brown onion. I'm using a brown onion. I'm gonna chop it into slices cause I like those bigger bits of onion. I am such an onion person. And I'm just gonna put it in there with that chicken. You can see that the chicken is not completely done, but we want it done enough that when we add the onions, it'll be done in time for the onions just to get soft. How about one can of fire roasted tomatoes? We're keeping this budget friendly, getting the store brand. And that can's gonna go right there on top of the chicken and the onions. I'm keeping it simple for this meal. Rice aroni, Spanish rice is perfect for this. So easy and delicious. It's been about 20 minutes. Our chicken, onions, and tomato have been simmering on medium heat. It is done and I am ready to make a burrito. I'm really just gonna stack this with chicken, rice, cheese, sour cream. Oh, Kayla's got a nice size burrito too. She loves these. That seasoning that you're seeing on top of the sour cream, my favorite, tahini, cilantro with that tangy, sweet saltiness to it. Mmm, delicious. And would you look at the size of this burrito. This burrito is two meals for me. Definite family favorite. When making a burrito of this caliber, yep, these large burrito sized tortillas make all the difference. They are a must. These burritos are so yummy. 
And this recipe, you could very easily do it with steak. You could add some shrimp to it if you wanted to, and it's gonna taste just as amazing. If you wanna add more vegetables like bell peppers, you can totally do that too. I feel like when you add bell peppers to a dish, the dish kind of takes on the taste of bell peppers. And to me, that is all you taste and I'm not a fan of bell peppers. And so it is one that I definitely exclude from my recipes and typically substitute it with just a bit more onions. I hope you all enjoyed my take on chicken fajitas. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, well, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy cooking in your kitchen. Happy Father's Day to all of you dads tomorrow. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, and bye for now, everybody.